Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla, and I have a really fun, teeny tiny video for you guys today. I wanted to do teeny tiny watercolors. As you can see, how big these watercolors are. Oh, let me tell you about Beast though. Man, he was he was a tough one to watercolor that small, especially with the sections of his face. Um, it was okay with Belle and everybody else coloring them in with the watercolor, but Beastie's getting his features on his face. You know how he has about like six different manes going on on his face? It was really difficult. So I, uh, you'll see me throughout the whole entire video keep going back to his face and fixing it up as much as possible. But these little watercolors were about, I'd say they're about four inches tall, three inches wide. My goal for this year is to draw in a smaller scale. I know that I keep saying this in most of my videos, it's just something I'm trying to improve on myself and I think that's very important for artists to set goals for themselves and to try to approach it in a good positive way to keep practicing that certain style that you want to achieve. Uh, I had this similar style last year when I was trying to get into typography. It was around February, January when I was really getting into typography and I was striving to study different art styles when it came to typography. You know, I just completely researched it and I bought books on it. I Pinterest the heck out of it. <laughs> um, so it's just, it's a good healthy thing to keep challenging yourself as an artist and especially these little itty bitty doodles because they're super cute. The reason why I want to draw smaller is because I want to someday do like a huge collage of doodles that fills up an entire page of these little itty bitty little things all over the page but it's super cute and maybe someday make prints of it or you know just put all my favorite things on one page and be absolutely in love with it that would be super cute and so you can see that i'm making rapunzel right now i definitely you you guys are all going to understand why i'm doing these particular poses the only pose that you might have to go check out later on is Rapunzel is on my Instagram and what I did these watercolors for because I am using them for something specific. And if you follow me on Instagram, then you probably have already seen what I've done with these little itty bitty watercolor doodles. Has anyone else ever noticed, and now I kind of understand where my art teacher was coming from in high school, when you have these fine tip brushes that are super duper small, like the ones I'm using right now, you see my blue one and my red one are my tiniest brushes, and they're for really fine points. But when you buy those brushes from Michaels or Hobby Lobby or whatever your local art store is, and you have those teeny tiny brushes, you cannot leave them in your cup of water for longer than maybe five minutes. Because if you leave it in your cup of water and you forget that it's in there for probably an hour, then guess what? That brush tip will bend and curve. They're so fine and they're not strong enough to sit by themselves in the cup of water and I have ruined so many fine tip brushes. So yeah, there's a piece of advice. If you have a fine tip brush, do not leave it in your cup of water for more than a minute because you're gonna make it curve. And I don't know, is there, I mean, I always keep little plastic covers on my paint brushes. Do any of you guys have advice to keep my paintbrush, my little fine tip paintbrushes in better shape because yes, I do put the, the plastic thing on top to preserve it and keep it nice and not bent and guess what it's just it just ruins it <laughs> so yes if you have a piece of advice for those teeny tiny brushes please leave in the comments down below i have to say out of all these little itty bitty watercolor little doodles that you're seeing that peter and wendy were the hardest believe it or not even though that that um i have drawn them several several times peter and wendy are i'd say three uh two by three inches they're the smallest of all of them, even Dumbo. Um, Dumbo was bigger than Peter and Wendy, so I drew them super small just because it was a couple. I don't know. I wasn't really planning the size of how big they were going to be, but they were the hardest to doodle for me. And 
I kept messing up Wendy's face. Her, her whole face was just one big blur and I didn't give her any definition to her lips. So this profile of Wendy was really hard. So uh, yeah, I don't know. But I have to say out of all of these, that Rapunzel was by far my favorite. I never doodle Dumbo that much. Dumble. Dumble. <laughs> I never doodle Dumbo that much and I'm really happy of how he turned out in this little itty bitty doodle. Aha, uh -huh. now I go and I cut every single one of them out and I wanted to go ahead and give a border to each and every single one of them. Cut them out, cut them out, cut them out. This past week, I went to the Magicals Place on Earth. I think that's what Walt Disney World's uh, slogan is, as opposed to Disneyland's The Happiest Place on Earth. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong down below. But what I did was I made these little watercolors, and then I went to each and every single one of their rides, except Dumbo, and I did the Peter Pan's flight in front of... Uh, you know, I have Peter and Wendy in front of Peter Pan's flight and then I went over to Fantasyland and I held up Beast and Belle in front of Beast Castle in the Magic Kingdom in front of the Be Our Guest restaurant. And if you want to see Rapunzel hanging from her tower in... Uh, it's like it's in, it's in between Fantasyland and Frontierland. Um, then you have to go onto my Instagram and check it out. I'll go ahead and put my Instagram right up here so you can see what her doodle looked like in front of her tower. The only one I didn't get around to giving, getting Dumbo in front of his ride just because it kept raining. It's Florida. It's raining all the time. <laughs> but yes, guys, hope you enjoyed it. Bye!